Saturday night, I will have the honor of officiating at the wedding of Mitch Waxman and Melanie Polin, who is the daughter of our wonderful and longtime members, Carol and Marty Polin. I also had the privilege of standing with her two sisters, Brett and Carly, as they married the choices of their hearts. No doubt at some point I will mention that just that morning we read Parshat Vayetze, when the whole idea of making sure you are marrying the correct sister began. Jacob was tricked into marrying Leah when he thought he was marrying Rachel, which he eventually did. While we usually joke about it, check their ID and such before you lower the veil, there is a dark side to this narrative. It is a sad and tragic one for Leah and what today we would probably call an assault on Jacob. So how did the rabbis seek to redeem this story? They say it shows Rachel's desire to honor her older sister by not marrying before her. Rachel gave her the signs that she and Jacob had worked out in advance in case a switch was implemented. Does it fix the wrong that was done? No, but it shows the rabbis wanted to read values of fealty, loyalty, and family closeness into an otherwise troubling arc. There are stories in which there is no good to be found, but for thousands of years we have looked past the difficult part of this one to focus on the capacity of one sister to sacrifice for the other in a way that made sense to them, at least in the time period in which these events are placed. Our job is to emulate the values without inflicting the pain. Shabbat Shalom.